By the end of this video, you're going to know about a new AI tool that makes analyzing data as simple as you simply telling it what you want or what you want to learn and then uploading the data and boom, the AI does all the work for you. And the best part about this is that it works for any type of data, it works for any type of scenario, and there's no limit to how much data you can actually upload with this tool. It doesn't matter if you have thousands of rows, it's able to handle it. By the end of this video, you're going to know exactly what this tool is and a bunch of crazy use cases you could use this for. Now, that new AI tool that I'm talking about is going to be Deep Agent because it just got a new upgrade that makes it way better for data analysis. For example, we could come over here and we could say something like this, please perform an in-depth analysis on my business. The model is $1 for the first week and then $10 per week afterward. I want to know what my churn is, a cohort analysis, and anything else that you think would be helpful for analyzing the business and making it better. In addition, please compare my metrics to the industry standard for consumer SaaS for social media creators. So what I am then going to do is I'm going to take the export that I got from Stripe and I'm going to upload this in here. And then from here, this is going to go through, ask me a few questions, and this is actually going to perform this analysis for me. And this is on like more than 6,600 transactions. So there are thousands of rows of data here. It has multiple columns. This is a lot of stuff that I'm uploading to this right here. And I want to show you how simple this makes us to actually break this down. So what time period does this cover? We could put right here since October 13th. And then for industry benchmark, comparing to industry standards for SaaS tools, are there any other specific metrics that you are looking at? I'm going to put two, just what you find in your analysis. Three, are there any specific business challenges or questions you're trying to answer? I'm going to say I'm trying to answer if churn is good and if I would make more money by switching to a monthly model instead of weekly and charging less and I'll put maybe 19 or $29 at the monthly model. And then it asks, how would we like this data analysis actually delivered? I am going to say, I want both of these, a detailed report and an interactive dashboard. Now, what this is going to do is this is going to take the answers to the questions that I just gave it, and it's going to go off. It is going to perform this in-depth analysis, and then it is going to create me all the different outputs that I need. Now, the reason that this is so powerful is because one, it asks you to clarify what you actually want before it goes off and does it. Two, this also goes through and performs an in-depth analysis that you can then pass along to your team as a report, or you can continue to ask it questions and it still has all of the context inside of here for this to continue to answer questions or even do more in-depth analysis. So we can see the first thing that this is doing is actually going through and researching so that it understands what it should actually be looking at right here. And we could see that it's going through tons of different resources and websites right here. And then once it's done with that, it's actually going to go through and perform the analysis on all these individuals. Okay, so now that this has gone through, this has actually finished this analysis right here. It says that it's compiled different industry benchmarks and it put them in a JSON file that they can then access. And now what this is going to go through and do is actually perform this in-depth analysis. And we could see that that's exactly what this is going to do right here when it's going through and exploring customer spend data in detail. And we could see all the different thoughts that we wanted to right here, or you could sit back, go make a cup of coffee while this goes through and performs all the analysis for you. Okay, now this right here is exactly what I love about Deep Agent. So it goes through and it says, great, I went through and I explored things. And then it asked me a handful of different questions. So before it is actually going through and giving me the final analysis and the final results, it asked me more questions the same way that you would hope a human would if a human was doing this and they were unsure about something. This is why I really love this. So I'm going to go through, I'm going to answer these, and then I'll show you off what the final result is. Okay, so now that we could see that this is going through and this is presenting us with the exact report right here. So we could see that there were around 1,200 total customers over the last 92 days, which equates to 12.7 new customers a day. It's 401 active customers, 770 of them have churned. It goes through revenue performance here with the average revenue per customer, customer lifetime value, weekly ARPU. We have our churn metrics right here. We have pricing model recommendations right here. And this goes through and actually tells us that our pricing model might actually be the best way to actually do this right now. And then this goes through customer acquisition timeline right here, payment behavior distribution. This goes through a churn analysis right here. It goes through different churn patterns. It goes through a cohort retention analysis right here. Then this goes through and this actually compares us to different industry benchmarks right here so that we could see. And it goes through retention benchmarks, LTV benchmarks. It tells me what the critical issues are. It gives me a 
root cause analysis, which is why it churns so high. And then if we keep coming down here, it calls out different issues here, gives me insights and recommendations. So this literally gives me right here like four different things that I should change. And here, this goes through exactly what I need to change and what things I need to implement in order to actually fix this so that I have actionable items here. And then if we scroll all the way down here, it gives us a new testing framework and financial projections based on if all of this stays the same. And guess what? This did all of this without me having to do anything. I mean, look at how long this is. This has action items. This has next steps. This has testing frameworks. This is way more than a human would be able to do in a week. And it did this in just a few minutes. And by the way, this is only the report that it generated. We could see right here at the appendix and then it went through and generated several different images and four different CSV files in order to perform this. And we could check those out too if we want. So this actually goes through and gives us quick answers to all of our different questions of whether or not churn is acceptable, if we should switch to monthly billing, what pricing model we should go with. And then we could see that this actually gave us more than 20 different files and a 90 day action plan, which we didn't even ask for. So this goes through all of the different key things and we have all these different outputs over here so if we scroll down a little bit we're going to be able to see all of these right here and we could click on view files in this task and then we could actually go through and see all of the different things that this went through and this created right here if we come over here we could click on this little eye in order to preview this we could see exactly what it looks like and we could see that this actually went through and did all of the analysis here and then if we come back over here we could see everything else that was actually generated here all of the different reports all of the different images all the different graphs and this is absolutely insane that it did all of this. In addition to that, if we wanted to, we could automate this task so we could get this to perform this on a weekly or a monthly basis in order to give us updates and it will understand all the changes that it's recommended before in the past and we could actually track whether or not we're fixing things appropriately. Now, before I get into all the other use cases for this, I wanted to remind you that you could go to the pinned comment below and get started with DeepAgent today for only $10 a month. And not only can this tool help you with data analysis, it can also build out AI agents for you, automate your work for you, and you also get access to chat LLM, which allows you to access every single LLM all from one chat. So you could switch between them really easily, or they even have route LLM, which automatically routes your request to the best LLM for whatever you're trying Trying to do. So what are you waiting for? Go to the pin comment below and get started with it today. It's an absolute no brainer. Now, I don't want you to think that this is only for analyzing data on things that have already happened. For example, we could get this right here to plan how to, something might actually play out in the future. So we could get this to predict things. For example, I'm planning to partner with 10 micro influencers to promote our products. Each influencer has these amount of followers. We're going to estimate that this is what the conversion rate is going to be, or this is what we need it to be. And then what this will actually go through and do is predict the number of views, the number of signups, and the amount of revenue that we could actually make from each of these influencers. So per usual, this is going to go through, this is going to ask us some key questions before it ever runs off and does anything. And we're just going to answer these. And if you wanted to, you could answer it like how I'm going to answer it, just saying something like your call or getting it to actually decide if you don't have really precise answers or really precise things that you want done with the analysis. And then from here, this goes through and this actually begins to perform the analysis. And we could see that now this goes through, tells us exactly how much money we should be allocating towards each influencer. And again, this goes through tons of different things. So we have our full analysis right here, which we could see in Excel. It gives us a campaign overview, influencer performance, an ROI analysis, an executive summary. Now we could use all of this information to actually understand who we should be spending money with, what our budget could, should be. And we could see right here what the campaign overview is going to be, who the top performing influencers are, or who they're more likely going to be. It gives us risk assessment. It gives us strategic recommendations and it gives us next steps and action items. And then again, like I showed you with the other example, what I would strongly recommend that you do is go through you actually do something based on this. So you take action with these influencers based on this, and then you can go through and actually give it what the actual performance was like so that this can then refine its results. And this should be an iterative process where you continually go through, have it continually analyze data with 
updated metrics from the real world. And what this allows you to do is make better decisions by using AI. Now, this next example I want to show you is actually getting this to do a discounted cash flow analysis. So what we're going to get this to do is calculate how much each business segment end is actually worth so that we could determine how much we might want to pay for this business or for this stock. Now, this is incredibly complex to be able to do. So I'm incredibly surprised that this tool is actually able to pull this off. Per usual, we're going to upload the data in here. This is then going to go through, ask us a few questions, we're going to answer those questions and then this runs off and begins to do the analysis. Now, like I was saying before, I am incredibly impressed that this is able to do this and I cannot believe the Excel sheet that this actually goes through and creates as a result of this. And we could see that this has created so many different graphs, so many different patterns, so much different analysis. And if we click into this Excel sheet right here, we could see everything right here. We have an executive summary. We have scenario comparison. We have segment analysis. We have consolidated projections. We have DCF calculations. This would have taken somebody weeks, if not months, to do manually. But AI just did this in just a few minutes. And if we keep going through here, we could see all the things that were done. We could see all the formulas that were used here. And this right here is incredible that this was able to go off and do this again, literally by just giving this an Excel sheet, giving it a prompt, asking it a few questions. And now if we had anything that we needed to change, we could get it to do this because this isn't only for analysis that you were going to be using internally. You could then get this to go through and actually build out an overview, to build out a report, to build out a presentation, then you'll be able to forward this to your team, to your stakeholders, to your clients, or wherever you're trying to use this. And you could use this with anything you want. It doesn't have to be for analyzing a business. You could get this to predict things. You could get this to go through and analyze anything that you want. Now, if you enjoyed this video, I would strongly suggest you check out this video right here that walks you through a handful of other things that you could do with this tool. I'll see you over there.